Hi there, Bill DeWeese, voiceover talent and voiceover career coach. And I was asked a question a few days ago. I thought I'd share with you that question and the answer. Maybe it's something that's been on your mind. And the question was this. Um, they asked if I process my audio before I send it out. And um, by processing, first of all, let's define that. Usually processing for audio for voiceover talent will consist of primarily EQ, equalization, and or compression. And by the way, uh, anytime you use EQ, compression, or any processing at all, use it judiciously. What I mean is be very careful. Just kiss it with the processing. Don't slam it. Don't overdo it. It's so easy to get carried up with processing, thinking, oh, it sounds better, especially broadcasting people are notorious for this. The more compression, the bigger, the badder it sounds, and they think it's going to be badder. By bad, I mean good thinking that it's actually to their advantage when actually they're shooting themselves in the foot. So less is more when it comes to processing. But back to the question, do I use it before sending out my audio? Uh, yes, most of the time, sometimes no. Let me explain. Before I send out a, uh, all of the audio that I send out for auditions and all of the audio that I send out for projects in which I'm doing the, um, I'm self-directing. I'm doing everything here myself. Somebody sends me a script. I record it, edit it, and send it out. I always, that audio is always processed with a little bit of EQ, a little bit of compression. The only time that I do not process the audio in which I give them raw, naked, bare audio with no EQ, no compression, is when I'm doing a Source Connect session. The same thing would be true for ISDN or IPDIDL if you use those, where the recording is being where the recording is being recorded on the client end in their studio. Whenever I'm doing that, I do not process the audio. Reason is uh, it's being recorded at a professional studio with an engineer who typically is going to do all of that for you. Now, um, so that would be the exception for me. Now, when a client asks, which they do sometimes, they ask for unprocessed audio. I will give them unprocessed audio. But my point is this, uh, you, you want it to sound as competitive as possible, but you also don't want it to be noticeable. Here's the thing. You don't want to do anything that actually draws attention to the processing. So in other words, you want it to sound very nice, very good, but you don't want it to be so processed that it draws attention to the compression, to the EQ or whatever processing you're using. Um, so again, that's what I do. You can choose what works best for you, but I do believe to be competitive, you want to make sure that audio sounds as good as you can before you send it out for audition or for a final project. Hope you find it helpful. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, I have, uh, this is being recorded and uploaded on Tuesday, June the 25th, tomorrow, Wednesday, June 26th at seven o'clock. I have a free training session in which I'll talk about the seven reasons that voiceover is today's best business opportunity. And the link will be below in the description here. Uh, so make sure you sign up for that. I hope to see you there and we'll talk soon.